Welcome back. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe or follow for more content like this. This brief podcast is about how so-called hood culture came to heavily influence and be seen as synonymous with black culture over the past few decades. Now, before we even get into it, I want to be clear. The hood and its culture isn't some monolithic negative thing. It arose organically from the experiences of black folks living in underserved, over-policed inner cities across America. A lot of good arose from that culture too. Resilience, creativity, righteous indignation against injustice. But we also can't ignore how certain toxic aspects of hood culture, like glorification of violence, misogyny, anti-intellectualism, and material excess, got amplified and promoted relentlessly through various media. From certain rap music to urban movies to reality TV, all of a sudden, an exaggerated pimp-thug hustler persona became the face of blackness for the mainstream. Now, it's easy to blame cultural purveyors and corporations for perpetuating negative stereotypes. But we as a people have to examine our role too. Why did we lift up and champion the most controversial voices and representations? Was it internalized self-hatred making us embrace the edgiest caricatures as real? The uncomfortable truth is that many of us turned our backs on the generational wisdom of our forebears, the remarkable legacy of scholars and freedom fighters. We let the voices of a struggling underclass minority define the perception of our entire culture. And the ramifications were huge from harmful stereotyping, to the adultification of black children, to us losing our own sense of self-worth. We have to ask ourselves, is this the representation we want perpetuated to our youth and the world when our culture is so multifaceted? Now don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking the hustle or that entrepreneurial spirit from the streets. That resilience is worthy of praise, but we have to be able to separate the wheat from the tares and amplify our fullest potential. It's time we wrestle back the legacy and identity of what it means to be Black in this world. Scholars and street philosophers, entrepreneurs and activists, present to uplift our communities while honoring our highest ideals. So let me know your thoughts. How did we get here as a people? And how can we reclaim a more holistic, uplifting representation going forward? Let's keep this conversation constructive in the comments below. See you on the next podcast.